Why do people fail to leave their purpose, to pursue their purpose? That's what we're discussing in these episodes. We've already looked at two major reasons, and I'm going to do a recap for you shortly. We've already seen why that is so. But we already also talked about this fact that it is not that people do not want. The wanting, the willingness is there. I tell you, I've seen very many people wanting to live their purpose, wanting even to find out what in the world is that purpose for me. People hungry for purpose. Nearly everyone who has a heart or a heartbeat wants to know their meaning in life, the reason for their existence. The question is, why is it that they don't live it? That's what we are attempting to discuss in these episodes for it looked at two, today we're going to look at one more reason, which I know you will resonate with. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. So let us do a recap, just like I promised I'm going to do a recap for you, discussing why people fail to live their purpose. One reason, one major big reason is ignorance. People don't know that they don't know that they need purpose. Their hearts are singing and craving and beating for purpose, but their minds, their heads, they want to know. One of the reasons as to why that is so is what we're going to discuss in the episode today. But the number one reason as to why people fail to live their God-given purpose is ignorance. You can take that to the bank. And so that means that our job is cut out for us. These episodes, these podcasts, the writings, the books, the courses that we are doing and so on, they are geared towards elevating that ignorance and removing it, removing that darkness, so to speak. And that's why people who take these courses, people who listen to these episodes, people who attempt to do some of the exercises that we give out there, they normally say, I wish someone taught me these things earlier. That is testament that the darkness has been dispelled. The second reason as to why people fail to live their God-given purpose is culture. We discussed that in the episode yesterday, episode 874. You want to check that out because it's really massive. We really laid it down. But culture eats strategy for breakfast. We don't know. It has a very powerful influence on us. The culture of the day overrides the individual purpose. And as long as that is going to continue to be pervasive, people will fail to live their God-given purpose. And people will will walk and will do what the culture of the day has dictated. But inside of them, they are wasting away. At the end of the day, at the end of their lives, when the curtain is pulled, they are regrets. I should have pursued purpose, but I didn't. So that is the second reason as to why people fail to pursue their purpose. And today we're going to discuss one more reason as to why people fail to pursue their purpose. And this is a very extremely valid reason, which is available even as we speak. Every time we counsel people, we coach people about purpose, this is one of the things that we tackle. It is an issue of balance. 
the number three reason as to why people do not live their God-given purpose or they fail to live it is the hassles of life. In other words, there is so much to do to pay bills that purpose doesn't make sense. We don't have time for purpose. We don't have time to save the planet, so to speak. We need to pay the bills. We need to pay the rent. We need to pay the housing. We need to pay the projects. We need to pay the power. We need to pay this and we need to pay the taxes of the day and so on. There is just so much bill spending that we don't have time to pursue our purpose. One of the reasons, one of the people that I uh, came across, a uh, very powerful personal financial coach in Uganda who has written a very powerful book called Money Cure, said this, that if you consider to set aside funds for inheritance for your children, for example, then it means that you're empowering them to pursue their purpose because when they grow up and you've taught them well, they are not going to spend their days and their lives trying to find out how they can pay bills because that bit probably is already taken care of. Now what they can be able to do is to free their minds to concentrate on purpose-related stuff. The hassles of life, they can be so... Let me tell you, when you are hustling, hmm? and I don't know why our deputy president in Kenya right now, this is 2021, he's creating a movement called the Hustler Nation. When you are hustling, you don't have time for purpose. The reason as to why you were born in the first place, because the hustle is to make it. The hustle is to pay bills. The hustle is to, you know, raise your head above the waters. The hustle is to survive. That's the meaning of the hustle. That's the purpose of the hustle. And it's a valid thing. I mean, people have to pay bills. People have to eat. People have to put on clothes. And people have to pay their taxes and so on. And pay school fees and so on. It's a valid thing. I mean, we can't live without doing that. We, man must work in order to eat. That's even a scripture. But as long as we, all we are doing is work so we can pay bills, we fail to live our God-given purpose. The compromise will be to balance the two. In fact, when push comes to shove, the compromise, even much more than a compromise, the ideal will be to use your purpose to generate income. And that's why I teach about purpose to profit. That your purpose is not just a spiritual esoter esoteric thing, an ethereal thing that doesn't generate income. No, I normally teach that purpose is something that you do to benefit someone else, to transform, to impact, to contribute. And let me tell you something, whenever you're transforming, you're impacting, you're contributing, guess what? You're creating value and value attracts money. Value attracts reward. It attracts money in kind. In fact, the word value and the word money, if I'm correct, they have the same letters. Five letters, I think, or six, whatever. But they are the same. That's where we're supposed to go. So that we're not just tipping ourselves in one ex a a extreme of working to pay bills. But we are working to build impact, generate processes that can impact generations and can contribute and they can create something good and that value attracts the money and therefore we get two kinds of income we get the psychic income which is the fulfillment we talked about the fulfillment that generates from you pursuing something that you're passionate about and something that transforms someone else's life or the community's life and therefore you get paid for that particular transformation, you get the psychic income and you get the monetary income. So I'm saying that one of the biggest reasons as to why people fail to pursue their purpose is the hassles and the bustles of life. Two major things in the present world, their dreams and then there's reality. 
we all have dreams and there is no human on earth who does not have the capacity to dream and everyone who has a capacity to dream has a purpose and however life pulls us down and reminds us that <laughs> we've got to eat we've got to drink we've got to put on clothes on our backs we've got to survive basically so we spend much of our time surviving and making sure that we fend for ourselves as much as we can and we forget about our dreams and our purpose in the process so we have dreams and we have reality we step ourselves into the reality we forget about the dreams you see hustling is part of life if you if you will i mean wanting to balance the scales and get some money and eke out a living it is part of life however the hustling would better be done in the context of our dreams it would better be done in the context of our purpose it is time that we put on some belief in the dreams that god has placed inside of our hearts some of us need to record videos and impact the world however we are so bogged down with paying rent and our dreams are a distant luxury in fact by the way nothing condemns people from purpose like hustling does you have a dream but you have rent to pay you pay the rent you forget about the dream that is one of the biggest reasons as to why people fail to live their god-given purpose so check out for that like i've said the compromise is what balance the two make sure that you're paying bills and you're pursuing your purpose and at the end of the day turn your purpose into profit if you want to know how you can discover your purpose and turn it into profit go to lifesignatures.life check out for the courses in there they're going to help you to do it just as i'm i'm doing the same for my life tomorrow we look at something else until then bye bye thank you for listening to life signatures radio if you enjoyed today's show subscribe to life signatures radio on itunes stitcher or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com life signatures radio fresh clean and inspiring